with Coding Cleverly. Today's 46th video is going to be about SS streams. What are SS streams and why they are used? So SS streams are standing for string streams and there sometimes a need arises when you are writing programs and you have different data types and you want to convert the different data types like in double float and you want to convert that to a string so ss stream provides this functionality that gives you the chance to convert that to another type and then when you have something in a string and you want to convert it into integer you want to convert it into a something else then you could also use ss streams there are basically three different ways in c plus plus to convert types to a string so the first one is by using string stream class and this is included using the ssstream header file. The second one is by using the two underscore strings function method. And this is included using the string header file. And then the last one is by using boost.lexicalcast. And you know, like typecasting and these kind of things. But the one that we're gonna focus on in this video is string streams. Now, SSStreams, in Wikipedia, it says that C++ programming, SSStream is a part of the C++ standard library. It is a header file that provides templates and types that enable interoperation. Now, interoperation is like the interoperability, the able, the ability to exchange data between and like share information and resources between what? Stream buffers and string objects. So the buffers have been covered a while, a while back in my video series and you could see a card on the top right corner if you want to watch that video. So stream buffers and string objects. So it creates this kind of ability to share the resources in between. So over here, I have a basic example and what I wanted to demonstrate here is that I use header files and you could see over here, I have the SS stream header file included. You can see that C string and string is also included. But what I want to focus on is that over here is that I created a convert all data types to string. So I have this function which I created and it returns the string data type. And what it does is the name to string. Now don't get confused with this under two underscore string function. This is something else. And this is used for converting types to string in C++. But this to string is just an identifier for a function. And then inside of the definition, what we did here is that we created a string stir. And then we use the output string stream. Now over here in string stream, there's a lot of functionality. You could use general string stream like this. And this could activate the stream. And then you have output string stream, which is O string. And then you have stream. And then you could have input string and then you have stream. So there are a lot of functionalities. And over here, what I used is output string stream. And it says over here, OS. So basically output is like the insertion operators. Input will be the extraction operators, which are the other side direction. So output stream, two less than signs, um, and it says employee number. And you can see over here, the number is somewhere defined here. Number is an integer type, and I want to convert that into a string. So what I did is that name, CNIC, address, and phone number are already strings. But over here, you can see that um, number was not a string before. So what it will do is that uh, OS, which is the object here, will convert this to a string. So just have like a full stream of employee number, employee number, name, CNIC, phone number. And a CNIC is less like an identity card number. So we have this phone number here. So now os.stir function will provide that into a single string. string. And what it will do after that is that uh, the string will have this and it will return the string. So it would return the string over here and we will get that. So when I execute and compile and run this, I just wanna show you that the thing that was in all different data types will now be in different strings. Now you can see over here that for example, uh, for example, for example, we have employee number five. This is all string, Tony, CNIC, all of this is string. Even though these are numbers, they are converted to strings now, thanks to the string stream function. So now over here in the SS stream, I'm gonna create my own. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna include a header file and that is the SS stream. Now what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna first create a number. So I have a number and it's an integer and I have it as 20. 
Now, what I wanna do here is that I wanna convert this 20 to a string. How do I convert it? We have a two underscore string function, which is included using the hash include So using the hash include, you could have this as string two underscore string, and you could put this around in here, and you could convert that out like that. And this is converting this integer to a string. So if I execute, compile, and run this, you would see that it's 20 over here. Another way to do this is that we're using the string stream. So how we're gonna do this is, First, we're gonna have to create the SS stream. So I would say SS stream, and I would create an object. So I would say SS object. And what I'm gonna do is SS object, and I know that there's a num. So I wanna add that inside of it. I would say num like that. Now what I wanna do is that I wanna create a string here. So I would just create a temporary string. I would say string, and I would put something like object. So I would say string str, and here, I, um, I think instead of having an extraction operator, I would have that insertion operator. And now what I would do is that whatever is in that string, now what I wanna do is that I wanna put that st thing in the stir is equal to sso.object, so stir function. So what's gonna happen here is that when I'm gonna see stir after that, you're gonna see that as a string. So what we're gonna see is 20, but it's gonna be a string. Um, let's see if this works. Execute, compile, and run. Now you have over here, SS stream was not declared in the scope. Um, the reason behind that is that we have to use the string string stream op uh, type over here, string stream. Now if I save this, execute, compile, and run. Now you see there's 20 over here. Let me make this all before, let me say all of this over again. So here in my dev C++ IDE, I included a header file SS stream and I also included a header file string. What I wanna do here in the main logic is that first I wanna show how, what is the difference between a string concatenation and others. So if I have a string, like for instance, I create a string and I say string number and the string number will have some kind of string inside. So I would say something like 20. And also we have a number, number, which is a whole number. So we'll just say a number, and that will also be 20. Now the difference here between the two is that if I try to like show them out, you really can't ex uh, exactly see it differently in the terminal screen. So I would put this st string number as well. And let me show this in the execute, compile and run. You would see both as 20, 20, but you can't find the difference between the two. And there is, the type is different. So what you know that is in this, the string, there's a concatenation. So if I like add something like another string inside, you're not gonna have 20 plus one as t uh, 21, but you're gonna have it as concatenated. So it's gonna be two, zero, one, because they're strings. So if I save this and run this code, You can see over here 201 instead of 21. Now if I add a one over here, plus one, you're gonna see that this is now 21 and not 201. So because it's a string, because it's an integer, so this is 21 and this is 201. Now let's do this uh, thing that we want to convert this number to a string. So how do we do this is that, first I would like to comment this portion out, comment this portion out and now, after this, I would start by using the str string stream. So the string stream, and we're gonna all create an object. So I would say string stream object. You could create whatever you want, any kind of name you want, anything is recommended. SS object dot. Now what are you gonna do instead of having any out of the dots because th there's so much functionality available. I'm just gonna use this insertion operator and I'm gonna use the number which was an integer. So this is an integer and I put this inside the stream. And what I'm gonna do is that it's just gonna be similar like this. Now I wanna create a string to store this number in. So I'm gonna create a string and I'm gonna just call it a stir. And what's happening here is that the stir 
will be assigned to whatever the SS object stream has. So I would just say whatever you have, I would just say put that inside. And now I want to show what uh, the S, the stir now contains. So the stir will now contain a string. And it's going to be the string which was 20 but in now in a string type which was initially an integer. So if I run this, you can see this is 20 and it's a string and we could prove that by concatenating it. So we could prove that by adding a plus sign. So we're going to add a plus sign over here. So let's have one over here, execute, compile and run. And you can see 201 because now it's a string. Um, now the other question that arises is how do I convert this back to an integer? So like for instance, if I have this string and I want to convert that, so I'm going to delete this portion out and I'm going to delete this portion out as well. So I have this string stream SSO. What I do is SSO uh, and now I want a back in integer. So I would have it as integer. So I would say int and I would say string, I would say int string. Okay. So uh, what I want to want here is that I want to convert this portion, which is a string to an integer using the string stream. And I'm going to use the SSO and we're going to use this insertion operator and we're going to put the string underscore num inside of it. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to extract it. So SSO and we're doing this extraction and we're, we want that inside of this int underscore string thing. So now what we want to do is we want to show the result. So we could say um, similarly like what we could say int underscore string. And hopefully that string, which was, which was initially a string is now going to be converted to an integer. So execute, compile and run. You can see now this is 20 and I would prove this by adding plus one to it. And if I get 21, that means our code worked successfully. So execute, compile and run. And you can see that it's 21. So congratulations. So we know how to use string streams to convert and then deconvert them back to their original forms. And also know another tool in our toolbox of C++. So that was it with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any queries, please let me know by writing them in the comment sections. And until then, I would see you in the next one. Peace out.